So with this vulnerability, I wanted to convey the idea of someone opening wide, chugging some acid, getting sick, and then overflowing the contents of their stomach. Because this is a bad malloc example. Now you recall bad malloc was mentioned in the intro section. And the idea is that integer overflows can occur not just within your code, but within those functions that you call to dynamically allocate memory. If they do some sort of acid math, then they could have an acid bath and they could overflow. And we said that Microsoft's Azure IoT team went and looked at a whole bunch of IoT Internet of Things libraries, and they did a big coordinated disclosure for what they called the bad malloc vulnerabilities that showed a whole bunch of things suffer from this vulnerability. This particular CVE that I'm covering here is one instantiation of a bad malloc bug in Texas Instruments firmware code. So Texas Instruments does over-the-air updates for their firmware, and the idea is that there's this compressed structure of directory of files and things like that, and within that there's you know certificates for digital signatures and things like that so that it can do verification of the contents. And this OTA command is what's used to specify like where the various files are and what certificates should be used to verify the digital signatures. So the fact that it's even signed in the first place is great. That is, you know, the gold standard for basic integrity checks. But the thing to remember always is that until you get through the signature checks, it's all just attacker controlled input data, right? So you need to get all the way past to the signature verification and only then can you assume that the contents of something are not acid. Until then, it's all acid. So I want you to go ahead and look at the various code that's going to be provided on the website and see if you can find the flaw.